corn is bouncing back from the lows we saw earlier this month and wheat is starting to recover too. And it's all down to the cold weather. The, uh, the, the very cold weather that we're currently seeing in the US, the coldest for a century, is uh, starting to have an impact on the winter crop, especially for wheat. There could be some damage, uh, damage done to the, current, to the crop sitting in the ground. Also uh, for corn, it's being supported by this, again, the cold weather because it may delay, delay the spring planting and that's obviously raising some issues there. Now over to hotter countries, we're looking at cocoa, which has surged to a 28-month high. We've seen uh, demand starting to increase at a time where supply is not keeping up, so we're going to have a, have a deficit uh, for the next couple of years. Just recently, the spike we've seen uh, over the past 48 hours is really coming out of Indonesia. It's the world's third largest uh, cocoa producer. They've had an excessive amount of rain just over the past, uh, past few weeks here, and that's really raising the risk of some uh, crop disease, and that's really that's driving the price right now. But when it comes to sugar, it's actually the other way around. There's ample supply and demand is stable. At the moment we're just seeing a small bounce. Uh, India may not export as much as they, they previously planned. That's adding a little bit of support. Hedge funds are sitting on a quite substantial net short position at the moment and they could obviously be, uh, be tempted to, uh, to, to short cover a little bit more. So at the moment any upside potential is more driven by, uh, by position adjustments than the change in fundamentals.